Hey everybody. So I decided I wanted to share some stuff with you about skincare. Um, my name is Jamie. I'm 35 years old. You almost can't tell. And about last October, I started caring more about my skin. Pretty much for my face. And then in November, in the beginning, I got bit to crap by a bunch of little sand fleas when I went to visit my mom in Florida, which was absolutely not fun and resulted in like over a hundred little bites all over my legs. And while I was there, I, I was watching videos actually on skincare and I realized that I never really knew how to take care of my skin. I never really knew how to properly put on makeup. And I didn't realize that for many years I was just, whether it was putting on primer and concealer and blush or not even putting on primer or, you know, not even really washing my face at the end of the day, I, I really was not treating my skin very well at all. So I'm only here just to share with you some products that I, I super love that have shown really good results. And now I have a skincare routine. I'm confident with it. I'm very happy about my skin. So yeah, we're just gonna share some things. So what's really important is to wash your face. I mean, first of all, I'm not an expert. Okay, I'm just going to say what's worked for me. So yeah, not an expert. Um, I definitely have some people on YouTube that I can recommend videos that you check out if you want to learn more about stuff. But wash your face with not hot water, first of all. Cold water is always good. If you need it to be a little warm, that's okay. But try to stay away from hot water. So even in the shower, when it comes to washing my face, I kind of turn it down a little bit so it's a little bit cold so it's not so stressful and make sure you wash your face when you get home from work at night in the morning i usually just just use water honestly and uh get everything off so again this isn't a video for someone who's wearing a lot of makeup to wash off if you are wearing a lot of makeup um, there's some really good makeup remover products that you want to use first before you go into taking care of your skin. So first, when you wash your skin, this is Paula's Choice Exfoliate. And the main ingredient that's good in here for a lack of acne is salicylic acid. You've probably heard of it before. It's a Neutrogena product. It's a, and all of those Noxzema products, all those things that we went through when we were a teenager to try to just not have acne. Um, ironically, I do have a little something right now, but let me tell you that I've probably had about two pimples since uh, last November, which is pretty amazing. So Paula's Choice, this will last a long time, and it's not even something you wash off. You put it on, and it, uh, it breaks down all the greases and all the icky bacteria that's on your face that can cause acne. After that, I like to use these serums. So these are all Glossier products. It comes in a trio pack. And believe it or not, all three of these is $65 together with a, uh, a discount from a podcast I listened to. So I really don't know the benefits necessarily or differences between each of them, but I like to uh, alternate just with whatever day. If I feel like using this one, which is pure, this one is super bounce. This one is super glow. And you know, I may as well just try a little bit right now to show you. So you want to be careful not to let your skin touch this applicator, but I usually put just a little right on my forehead on each cheek 
and then on my chin. And if I wasn't wearing uh, this um, sweater, I put it on my chest. And you always want to go in an upwards motion. As we age, skin likes to fall down. It's gravity, right? So let's not help it by, by pulling down and always go up. Another serum that my mom randomly sent me that I do like is this uh, Alima Superfood. When I first put it on, it just it just felt like super thick and kind of freaked me out and I wiped it off right away. But it's important that as you do these layers, you kind of let them do their thing. Let your skin absorb it. Our skin actually eats anything you put on it. So it's really important to give it some time and also when you're cleaning your skin to use the cold water right because if you use hot water right let's say you just got off of work and if you're someone like me who kind of works around a lot of particulates if you jump into a hot shower right after a day of work you're just kind of promoting your body absorbing all of that stuff that might be on you and it's it, it swells up it takes it in Whereas if it's cold, your skin is more likely to get tighter and extract. So back to the cold, washing the face. So yeah, I, I do the salicylic celic acid, not even every day, just if I kind of have something popping up. And then I, I bounce between usually one of these three. This is a rare occasion. So after that kind of sets in, I use... Acure Radically Rejuvenating Whipped Night Cream. Whatever your politics are, I actually used this and learned about it from AOC. And instead of doing it just at night, I do it morning and night after my serum. And I love it. It's not terribly expensive. It's maybe 11 to $15. But I love this so much. So... Yeah, I'm going to save this and I'll put it on right now. And then <clears throat> the final thing I do before I leave my house in the morning is sunscreen. <laughs> I know they say it's so important. And I know a lot of us just half-ass put on sunscreen when we're going to the beach only. Or if we know we're going to be outside or at a, a concert or just any event that's outside, we're like, oh, better put on sunscreen but it's so important. And I now wear sunscreen every day. And uh, it got a little annoying to get used to because it kind of takes a little extra effort to get it in there, but it's so important to protect your skin. And I also learned that there are different, I want to say uh, white levels of sunscreen. Some of them have a lot of white it's not pigment, but it seems really white. And so it takes longer to get in there. This is a nice medium. It definitely looks white when you put it on, but it doesn't take too long to kind of get it up in your skin. And again, upward motions. So from washing it to the salicylic acid to one of these serums to the cream and then to the sunscreen, I now have a protective barrier of moisture on my face. So even if I'm around particulates or, or toxins or anything that could be damaging to my skin, it's very protected. The last thing I'll share with you is something that my mom gave me as well. This is the Pure Heels by Nature Village Propolis 80 Sleeping Mask. Now this stuff is... Uh, it's. It's a sleeping mask enriched with 80% honeybee propolis extract, provides full nourishment and glowing skin for tired, for tired skin when you sleep. And it really has this like honey substance to it. It's nice and thick. And this is something that you put on your face uh, as a right before you go to bed. So I'll do all these minus the sunscreen and put this on. And I'm telling you, it's not very expensive. When you wake up the next morning, before you get into the shower or do anything to your face, just feel it. it is, it'll be like the softest you have ever felt your skin be. And again, it takes a little getting used to because it's like putting something that's pretty thick, again, in an upward motion 
onto your skin before you go to bed, but just give yourself that time, you know, just don't do it right as you're laying in bed and you're going to turn on your pillow. Do it while you're brushing your teeth, after you brush your teeth, you know, while you're getting yourself a glass of water, reading a book, whatever it is you do before you go to bed. Um, yeah, those are the products I've been using. I do not wear makeup and my skin has just, overall, the tone has improved. Like, like I said, two pimples in like four months. And... I just really love this stuff. <laughs> it's not a lot to, to keep up with. Like between these three serums, I've only had to rebuy them once and I bought them in October. So these three are going to last you four months using them twice a day, you know, one at a time, not all three at a time, but I just love them so much and I'm just so happy. With the new, uh, the new attention and the new focus I have to taking care of this, I can't tell you um, when you're stressed out, when you're working long hours, when you're not taking care of your skin, you see it. It breaks out. It discolors. It just overall leaves a bad effect. <clears throat> so that's my my two cents on skincare. Um, other other things that I really do like are Cetaf Cetaphil and uh, Aquaphor. You know, all that stuff is more for the body. They have regular lotions, and then they also have the healing ointments, which are super thick. My my friend Gabrielle, Gabby, she definitely helped recommending products to me when I had all of this bug bite carnage on my legs. And I was just like, my... My legs are going to look like they've been poked with pins for years now. But by making sure that I put on a mixture of Neosporin, I think it's CeraVe. That's the other one, CeraVe healing ointment. And a little bit of Cetaphil lotion or any kind of lotion. Just mix those up in your hands. Put it on right when you get out of the shower. And you're doing your body a favor. You're taking care of yourself. It, uh... It's great. So have a fantastic weekend, day, night, whenever you're watching this. And take care of yourself and uh, you'll see lots of benefits. All right. Okay, bye.